Hey guys, in this quick little video, I quickly just want to go ahead and disassemble my Nokia 3310 because it seems like it's dead right now after I did the Coca Cola Plus Pepsi test. I was basically pouring that over the Nokia 3310, and it seems like it's kind of dead right now, or at least the, 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 the display. So, as you can see, when we go ahead and try to turn it on here. You can see that the display seems to be kind of messed up. So what we're going to go ahead and do in this quick little video is that we're just going to go ahead and have some fun. We're going to go ahead and disassemble it uh, by using some of my tools here that I purchased when I was going to uh, disassemble my iPhone. So uh, let's go ahead and pop it up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do here is that we're gonna go ahead and pop off the back. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, I don't have any SIM card, but if you would have, of course, you would be able to remove that. Then we're gonna go ahead and pop off the battery. And then what we wanna go ahead and do here is that we wanna go ahead and pop off the front side. There we go. And once you pop off the front side, of course, it's very, very easy also to pop off this little one. Okay. Now let's go ahead and as you see over here we do have the display, we do have the keys and this one is uh, mounted on top with uh, like six different screws, one here and one here, here, here and here and here. So we need to go ahead and remove those. So we're just going to go ahead and use this one and then we're going to go ahead and use the, I think yeah, we're going to use like T6 from the iFixit tools. Let's see here. Gonna go ahead and take out the T6 one. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mount it here. There we go. So now what we wanna go ahead and do here is we wanna go ahead and remove these. one by one and this one is kind of interesting you will notice once we pop off this little thing it's kind of unique in that kind of way these kinds of old school smartphones Okay, the final one. So we should have six screws over here. So now what we can go ahead and do here is that we can go ahead and pop off this little thing here. And be a little bit careful here. There we go. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. So now, first of all, we do have the back and you know, this is like the shell of the device. You do have some things you can remove here, like this little uh, boy over here and some other good stuff. And then of course you do have the charger and all those good things down there. Up here we don't have that much interesting. Uh, but here is kind of like what the interesting things are. First we have kind of like the motherboard or you know this, the phone here. You can see here it basically is where you know you usually do have all those kinds of buttons that you tap on you know to play games and stuff like that. Uh, but it's kind of like a unique sign. I mean like the, it's just the one little thing here and it's so easy to pop in and pop out like that. Let's go ahead and see what else we do have in here. So of course we do have the screen over here, a little small screen. And then this is like a thing, uh, this is kind of one of the important things. Uh, if you don't have this little, you may think that this is just some kind of protective little thing, but this is actually the thing that makes you be able to click, as you hear, uh, when we go ahead and put it down like this. This is the thing that makes you be able to click. So this one, if you don't have this one, you know, you can't call or tap on any of the buttons. But it's a little bit like a built-in click little thing inside of this 
kind of plastic little thing and this makes you be able to click okay so pretty pretty cool pretty cool and then of course we do have the display which you should be able to replace and uh, you know come this kind of plastic design I think that you know this is like how every single smartphone should be that this should be so easy to mount down and you know re replace different parts I mean like it doesn't really take that long that long to go ahead and fully disassembly the Nokia 3310 as you can see we have some of the pieces over here we do have the display we do have the display we do have like the motherboard and then we have the shell and then we have that boy and then we have the battery and then we you know have these mm -hmm. kinds of things so pretty pretty cool over there I think definitely let's go ahead and try to see how easy it is to mount this again and how you put it back so uh, what you need to do right now first thing that you can't forget is this little thing so uh, uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do here is that we're gonna go ahead and take up this boy again and the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is put it back on just like that and then what we want to go ahead and do is we want to put this on to the right side not this side it should be this side okay or else you won't be able to click okay so align it like that and then you want to go ahead and put that one just right on top and then you want to push it down a little bit until you hear that kind of clicking noise so now we want to uh, go ahead and reassemble it or I think it's been called something like that so it's gonna go ahead and start here but I really like it that you know it's such easy to you know disassemble it you know that's so easy in different parts I mean, like, kind of like the iPhone, I mean, Apple likes to keep things simple. They should also have it, like, that the iPhone should also be easy to mount down, that the iPhone should be easy to mount down like that. Because I think that's one of the things that made the 3310 so popular, that it's so easy to replace different parts, uh, you know, if you wanted to do that. go so it's only like six screws that you need to remove I remember when I was trying this on an iPhone to disassemble it oh my god don't don't try this at home kids that was annoying so one more And then you can see that now when we have turned it back like that, we can go ahead and simply put this one on the top, just align it in the holes, and you hear that we do have that kind of clicking noise. Okay, awesome. Now, very important, when you put it back on, you need to put on the front side first, or else it won't work if you put on the back side first. So you put it on like this, align it at the top, and then push it down a little bit. There we go. Now what you want to go ahead and do maybe is inserting the battery, and maybe inserting the SIM card. Oops, as you can see this one accidentally, the, the button here on the top is out. So we need to go ahead and I didn't actually see that but you can see how it is if you want to go ahead and align it okay I need to remove this one again if you need to <laughs> I didn't see that this one was going out but as you see it's very very easy to mount back on if you remove this one but then you have to remove all the screws again uh, I'm not gonna do that right now but um, if this one flips out you need to go ahead of course and put it back on I'm not gonna do it right now though because this phone, you know, it's not even working, you know. 
but when you put it back on again, put this one on, put a battery in, and then we just go ahead and put this one just like that. And as you see, remember if this one goes out, you need to put it back on before you, you know, screw it back on. So yeah, just quickly a video. Disassembly and reassemble the Nokia 3310. Yes, it's an amazing phone. Peace out.